It's time to kick ass and chew bubble gum. And I'm all out of gum. In 1992, Bosnia and Herzegovina exploded into a vicious ethnic conflict. For four years, neighbour slaughtered neighbour. There was genocide, mass rape and concentration camps as Serbian forces conducted ethnic cleansing. Those who cannot remember the past are doomed to repeat it. At long last, Demir is about to learn the fate of his cousins. He knows the truth will be dark. Prvo grupu, odnosno muškarce su odmah razdvojili i nakon brutalnog maltretiranja su ih odveli na obližnju jamu Breza i sve do jednog streljali. Žene i djecu odvode u grad Nevesnje, tačnije u Kotlovnicu, jedan koncentracijalni logor naravno koji je tada napravljen. Iz te kotlovnice su odvedeni i svi pobijeni na jami. Face to face meeting at the White House on gun control. There's a live picture of the White House right now. The NRA meeting with Vice President Joe Biden. It comes as the Vice President declared President Obama may bypass Congress and pass new gun control laws on his own. I grew up in this hunting culture, but this is nuts. Why does anybody need a 30 clip? A 30 round clip for a gun. Why does anybody need one of those things that carries a hundred bullets? A guy in Colorado had one of those. Half of all the mass killings in the United States have occurred since the assault weapons ban expired. I was born in Austria and I lived there seven years under Hitler's brutal regime. And after World War II, three years under Soviet communist occupation. In 1938, the media reported that Hitler rolled into Austria with tanks and guns and took us over. Not true at all. The Austrian people elected Hitler by 98% of the vote by means of the ballot box. Now, you might ask, how could a Christian nation, almost 100% Catholic, to elect a monster like Hitler? The truth is, at the beginning, Hitler didn't look like or talk like a monster at all. He talked like an American politician. We also had gun registration. Oh, the Austrian people had all, they all had guns. But the government said, the guns are very dangerous. Children are playing with guns. Hunting accidents happen. And we really have to have total control, safety. And we had criminals again. And the only way that we can trace the criminal was by the serial number of the gun. So we dutifully went to the police station and we registered our guns. Not long after, they said, no, it didn't help. The only way that we don't have accidents and crimes, you bring the guns to the police station and then we don't have any crimes anymore and any accidents. And if you don't do that, capital punishment. So. That's what we did. <clears throat> it took five years, gradually, little by little, to escalate up to a dictatorship. When the people fear the government, that's tyranny. But when the government fears the people, that's you, that's liberty. <laughs> Keep your guns. Keep your guns and buy more guns. Amen. 
I told you that if you lived in New Jersey as of this morning at midnight, uh, if you have anything that holds more than 10 rounds, you are a felon overnight, a uh, class four felon in New Jersey. So we've seen these things in, in, you know, kind of incrementally take place. The next one to take place is going to be in July of 2019. That's where we're going to see the next set of ammunition restrictions. Now, these ammunition restrictions are going to be pretty steep. What we're going to have to do is we're going to actually have to do background checks for our ammunition purchases, meaning that each time we go to the store and each and every time we buy ammunition, we're going to go ahead and pay a fee. A background check is going to have to be run on us and if that background check passes, we'll then be allowed to buy ammunition. The DOJ is still going to want information on who you are, what you bought, how much of it you bought. The right to bear arms in America comes from the Constitution that founded the nation. But how easy is it to get one? I want to buy a gun. I've come in, off the street. What's the process? Do you know what you're looking for? I want a gun for self-defense. For self-defense? Protect my family in my home. Okay, how often do you plan to shoot this firearm? Only if there are bad guys around. So, mainly once a uh, blue moon. I'm hoping never. This is the revolver. Three wow, seven. that's big. Yeah. He'll check my ID and crucially contact the FBI to check out my background. Stephen Paddock, the Las Vegas mass murderer, his background checks were as clean as a whistle. You're selling killing machines? Technically, we're not selling killing machines. We're selling anything from sporting to self-defense, recreational to hunting. Mm -hmm. All right, now, what the, the maniac, the psycho behind the gun, uh, decides to do with it, that's not our intentions. I ask to see the most powerful weapon in the shop, and I trigger a visceral response from Andy, feelings ingrained in the soul of middle America. But these look very military style. What would you use these for? Why would anyone buy one of those? If the government has it, then I should be able to have it. Is that the reasoning? It's one of them. That's one of the reasons why our Second Amendment was written. If the government has more powerful weapons than we do, then they can overthrow us. Distrust of federal power forged this nation and today fires up the gun lobby. Like anyone, most gun shop owners were sickened by last Sunday's mass shootings, but they, like millions of Americans, believe these weapons are the only guarantee of freedom. No freedom, no life. Gun control advocates Beware. And we know exactly what you're trying to do is demonize us and the firearms and gun owners. And there's going to be a time when we can put our foot down. And I hope it's not anytime soon. hope we never have to. But there will be a time that will come. One thing about my mom. She always plans ahead. Excellent. America, I love you. Hey, <laughs> I, I, I do love you guys. I'm just kidding though. Um, so as most of you know, I've been learning from the historians lately. Mr. Patriot's been teaching me the, the true reality of our world. And it takes me down a lot of side paths. And one of those side paths that I've recently went down is gun control and gun rights. There's a common theme all throughout history and it's gun control. Right before the fall, right before they separate the men and the women and shoot the men in the head and dump them in mass graves and rape and torture the women and children and then kill them too, right before that happens, they always get real strict on gun control. They start making countries register weapons, turn them into the police department. They do like New Jersey just did. They put bans on, on 30 round magazines. Uh, they do like California's doing in July of 2019, making you register uh, your ammunition purchases. Then they start to ban things like bump stocks. Um, next, it'll be semi-automatic rifles. There's a reason we have those things. It's not to go hunting. It's not to go to the range. It's to defend ourselves from, number one, our government. Number two, foreign governments, people like the UN. See. Once they take the guns away, always, always throughout history, not long after that, the concentration camps pop up. So America, you know I'm a felon. I don't have gun rights. I don't own any firearms. And it breaks my heart. And unfortunately, I don't have any gun rights. And I don't have any firearms.
and I don't plan to get any. And that's why I need you to defend the Second Amendment and the Constitution. I need you to go out and take a gun safety class. I need you to go buy weapons legally. I need you to be responsible. If you're of sound body and sound mind, and you can legally own a firearm, I highly recommend you go get one, and you never let them take your gun rights away. If you look at the laws they've passed in the past five years uh, to do with weapons, ammunition, magazines, all you have to do is look at that to see where the future is headed. America, if you don't start fighting for your gun rights and supporting organizations that protect your gun rights, 10 or 20 years, you're not going to have any. You might end up in a concentration camp. They might separate you from the women and children. They might separate you from your husband. So I highly suggest that if you can legally own firearms, uh, you go out and get some. And if you can't legally own them, I suggest you do like I'm doing and, and help others fight for their rights. They always take guns away before the slaughter. But like I said, this was one of the side paths that uh, learning about history has taken me down. And now I see clearly. I see the plan. They do it all over the world. They take away the weapons right before the slaughter, right before the concentration camps. But I'm going to get out of here, you guys. You guys have a wonderful day. Please hit the thumbs up button for me. It really helps out. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Peace. John X Army signing out from the belly of the beast.